Hey guys, Xiaomi or should I say Redmi is all set to launch the Redmi K40 Pro Plus in India. Mukul Sharma has shared this information. The Indian variant of the Redmi K40 Pro Plus has been registered as Mi 11X Pro on IMEI database. There's a new name which is Mi 11X Pro. So the Redmi K40 could launch as a part of Mi 11 lineup but it isn't confirmed yet. There's also mention of Poco, so there's a lot of confusion here. Many users are thinking that the Redmi K40 Pro Plus would be a part of Poco F series and if it turns out to be true, then it would be kind of weird. I mean, there's no need to launch a smartphone by just changing a name and brand. At the end of the day, it's gonna be the same smartphone with same internals. But it might be Redmi's marketing strategy. Who knows? But one thing is confirmed and that is Redmi K40 Plus is coming to India. So that's a great news. It will directly compete with the OnePlus 9 Pro. So tell me, if given an option, which smartphone would you choose? The OnePlus 9 Pro or the Redmi K40 Pro Plus? Now let me tell you that Xiaomi has already launched the new Mi 11i globally and it's also a rebranded Redmi K40 Pro Plus. So at this point, I'm not even sure what Xiaomi wants to do. I'm just happy that the Redmi K40 Pro Plus is finally coming to India. If we talk about Redmi K40 Pro Plus, it features a 6.67 inch AMOLED display panel at Full HD Plus resolution with up to 120Hz refresh rate. The display can reach up to 1300 nits in peak brightness and it also supports HDR10 Plus certification. It has 360Hz touch sampling rate. The phone supports MEMC to boost the frame rate of videos as well as super resolution to upscale the resolution of your content. In terms of performance, it is powered by Qualcomm's flagship Snapdragon 888 mobile chipset, 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM and a large 4520mAh battery which also supports 33W wired charging. The Snapdragon 888 is a 5G enabled chipset with its integrated Snapdragon X60 modem. The phone comes with 128 or 256 GB of built-in UFS 3.1 storage. It has a side-mounted fingerprint scanner rather than an optical or ultrasonic under-display fingerprint scanner. It has dual stereo speakers tuned with Dolby Atmos with no 3.5mm headphone jack. It has a triple camera array which includes a 108MP Samsung ISOCELL HM2 sensor, an 8MP ultra-wide-angle sensor and a 5MP telemacro sensor. On front, it has a single 20MP sensor. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.